send it to your players now how do you do that you have to click the players tab this one now here I already have a default player I don't really need that so I'm going to create a new one I'm going to press the add player now this kind of player actually should represent a real physical player out out there in the venue I'm gonna call it this one let's call it uh, cafe cafeteria front okay let's say that I have a cafeteria and this one is a player that's supposed to be in the front maybe in the reception maybe in the entrance now I'm going to add a playlist okay actually I have only one playlist which is called my cool playlist I'm gonna drag it from this strip to this rectangle okay I can click it like that and then I press create okay so I have my first player cafeteria front let's create another one this one is gonna be cafeteria back maybe it is gonna be in the back of my cafeteria I'm gonna press add playlist put this one here okay I can actually choose another playlist I don't have to choose the same one it's up to me I'm gonna press the create button and there I have two players each one represents a different physical player out there and it has a selected playlist now what else can I do here I can check it and then press the edit if I like to enter this in edit mode I can also delete it or add this uh, player or a couple of players into a group which I'm going to explain later so let's enter this in edit by the way before I enter this in edit mode there's a player link here now the player link it's actually a link which I, if I click it and let's do that all right let's click it again it's going to open a tab in my browser okay and the best browser to use with NoviSign is the Chrome browser or either with a Firefox browser so here I get this link and this button let's roll I press it and now it's going to show me the playlist on my browser so if you remember this was the first slide with 15 seconds and just right after it's supposed to come the blended okay that's about it now if I enter this player in edit mode that means it's now it's checked I'm gonna press the edit and now while I'm inside and remember I can add more than one playlist and I can also schedule each playlist to run in a certain time like I can do the same with a creative which is inside a playlist all right this is another way for scheduling now two things which are important here are the player key link and the player key which is also called screen key now the player key or screen key is what you need to put in the physical player which you put in the venue this is like the ID of the player that tells him that that player is actually corresponds to the cafeteria front so you can copy this key paste it inside uh, in an email and send that email to the player and copy that from there or you can just copy that link this is the same link which you've just seen as a player link this one all right so you can also do this and this way you actually tell the physical player that it is cafeteria front in this specific example so the last thing which I'd like to tell you about is the groups this is the last and the fourth tab if I click the groups actually at the moment I have nothing but I can create a group let's call this group for example LA University all right and this group I'm going to add a couple of players I'm going to add the cafeteria front by clicking the plus and adding the cafeteria back by clicking 
that plus now I need to choose a selected playlist for this group I'm going to choose this one and what have I created so far? I've created a new group which is called LA University which has two players and has a content to play. The content it's the My Cool playlist. Once I create, I push the Create button I get this new group which is called LA University. It has two players and the chosen playlist to run is called My Cool Playlist. Now if I go back to players I can see that those two cafeteria back and cafeteria front are not now they do not have a chosen playlist but rather than that they're in a group and the name of that group is LA University that means they're supposed to show the content of the group so why do we need a group we need a group in for some cases where we have a lot of players which are supposed most of the time to play the same content that means if I have in LA University I have let's say 10 or 20 players let's say that most of the time they're supposed to play the same content so they will play the my cool playlist but let's say that on a certain day I would like the cafeteria front to play something else so in that case I can remove it from this group I can do it either from here by clicking the minus or I can go to cafeteria front in edit mode and then remove the player from group just like that and assign it a different playlist by dragging it over here in this case it's the same playlist which I have as I don't have other playlists but this is how it's being done so basically this is it once I get into the groups page I can either edit or delete a group and that's about it again this is near thank you for being with us and please come again to watch our other tutorials <laughs>